What's up Bake Off fans, it's Jack here at bakewithjack.co.uk and it's been a long time since I've done a video like this, probably 43 weeks, something like that. Who knows, but hey, the Bake Off is back, series, I wanna say eight, series eight, and uh, it, it was awesome, come on. It was awesome. Everyone was worried. Everyone went off on Twitter. Oh, Bake Off's on Channel 4. It's going to ruin everything. But uh, it was wicked. And if there was one thing missing from the Great British Bake Off before, it was the ability to make cups of tea and take notes without missing anything. So, hey, it's a win-win situation for me. Uh, I took a lot of notes. Looks like this. It's an awful mess. So this video, uh, I'm just gonna make it up as I go along and chop it up as I go along as well. I just had a little look at my old videos from last year to see how I rolled back then. And uh, it was a lot of cringing. If you wanna have a look at that, uh, go and have a good old cringe at me uh, in the olden days. But hey, listen, let's get on with it. First off, uh, the new people, the new judges, the new judge, one, Prue Leaf, and Noel, and I want to say Sandy, um, did really, really well. I love Noel anyway. He's wicked. He's a legend. Um, and Prue Leaf, uh, my wife said about halfway through, hey, uh, if you shut your eyes, it sounds like Mary Berry, uh, which it does. So, so, hey. so, hey, after all the worry that it would never be the same without Mel and Sue, uh, actually, it was pretty wicked. Hey, I will enjoy it anyway. I'm going to watch it anyway. Of course I am, because I love it. It's a wicked show. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's go. So there's a lot of contestants at this point in the competition, and just like last year, uh, we're not going to go through them all. I'm just going to show, I'm just going to talk about the ones that uh, that stood out for me. If that's okay with you, uh, round number one was the fruity cake, the moist, fresh, fruity cake. No sultanas, no craisins, uh, no raisins, no nothing like that. Just moist, fresh, fruity cake. Yes, couple of minor disasters, minor disasters, Yan had to start over after she put her cake in the oven that wasn't on. Classic Bake Off error. Don't worry, everybody does it. Um, so you have to start over, but it's cool. Um, well, done. got it all done anyway, in the time. Like seriously, come on. Nearly got the first drop from Julia. First cake drop of the series. Slid off the edge of that uh, cooling rack. I saw it, just quick save it, quick save. <gasps> My heart was in my throat for a minute, but she got away with it. And hey, uh, Sophie from Surrey. Yes, Sophie from Surrey. Hey, Sophie, rooting for you. Sophie from Surrey uh, got the first handshake. I think she got the first or the second handshake of the series, the old Paul Hollywood handshake. Yes, nice one, and so did Stephen for the apple cake. I think he done the bonfire one. The apple bonfire cake, he got a handshake too. So uh, yeah, so at this point in the competition, I got my eyes peeled, yeah? I got my eyes on two people because everything's very quick. There's 12 people in the tent, yeah? And you only get a little glimpse of each person as you go by, but two people I've got my eyes on, yeah? One of them is Stephen. He's got the moves. You can see some people do certain things in certain ways and you get like a split second little ping. He's got moves. And secondly, I got down here, Kate the blacksmith. Kate the blacksmith. Seriously, Kate the blacksmith's got moves. This first round, I caught a glimpse of her cake. I don't think we saw it when they were going through the cakes, but I caught a little glimpse of it. It looked awesome. It was properly, uh, really nicely refined. It looked really professional. I caught a glimpse of that cake, Kate the blacksmith, and it looked really, really cool. So I've got my eyes on Stephen and Kate already, I think. I think we'll see how we get on. Round two, it's getting dark now isn't it? Uh, 12 chocolate mini rolls with peppermint inside. Uh, it's quite a tricky one, yeah, because if the sponge is baked a little bit too much, not gonna get that nice roll, then obviously the demonstrations ones were absolutely perfect. Couple of things to mention on this one. Uh, in fact, there's only one thing to mention. I don't really wanna mention it, but I'm pretty sure it happened. It happened in a blink. I couldn't believe my eyeballs, and but I heard the nation gasp. Seriously, I think it was Chris who tossed his uh, egg whites into a, into a dirty bowl. 
uh, a, 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 a dirty chocolate bowl with chocolate inside and we all know they're never gonna whip up if that happens uh, and they didn't uh, point proven um, so here comes the spoilers if you're worried about spoilers I'm gonna say some spoilers in a minute it's time to turn off I'm gonna chat for a bit if you want to turn it off to avoid the spoilers turn it off now uh, but hey third place chocolate mini rolls Julia nice one second place James and first place Kate the blacksmith yeah Kate the blacksmith she's got moves they were tight nicely rolled really refined and beautiful looking and on to round number three the show stop around illusion cakes yeah cakes they look like they're something but actually they're not something they're a cake instead of that one thing that they look like I'm sure that's how they described it on the show anyway a uh, couple of dodgies couple of dodgies we all like seeing the dodgies don't we let's be honest couple of dodgies pork and egg pie a little bit dodgy a little bit ropey I can't remember who did that one uh, let me find out Peter made a loaf of bread uh, with a bread knife in it and that was a little bit dodgy as well it was Chris the pork and egg pie sorry Chris not cool is it hold on what about Scott for Chris mango software engineer spreadsheets Chris I like your spreadsheets it reminded me of Andrew Smith last year he was an engineer he's an engineer in engineering uh, and he had spreadsheets I like your spreadsheets Chris but anyway um, so yeah shout outs for the illusion cake there were some proper stunners seriously champagne bucket Sophie in Surrey <laughs> Sophie in Surrey hey Sophie in Surrey champagne bucket was awesome had ice cubes on it it looked like a champagne uh, in a bucket it was really awesome next up Flo Grandma Flo uh, made a watermelon you see that red color inside it was wicked and she made like a watermelon syrup to take the flavor in uh, that was a really cool idea I thought nice one Flo K the blacksmith Kate the blacksmith made a terrarium. She made all this glass out of sugar and it really made me nervous to watch that happening. Uh, it really made me nervous. All that sugar glass going on, it didn't quite work out in the end. Uh, the idea was good. Uh, it was sort of half there, but I think Paul was quite complimentary anyway. And um, that was nice. Um, Liam made pancakes. The youngster of the group, I think he's 19. He made like a stack of blueberry pancakes with granola on top and they looked like a stack of pancakes with granola on top. Seriously, it was awesome. Uh, and Stephen made a BLT sandwich. He made like a cut loaf of bread, like a sliced loaf of bread with a slice taken off, with a BLT sandwich made of all different things. The lettuce was like green, I don't know, icing. It had like peanut butter frosting on it, uh, but it was like a chocolate cake, but it looked like bread. Uh, and a sandwich and it actually looked like it so hey I really enjoyed that round I really enjoyed that round um, if you didn't turn off earlier for the spoilers I'm gonna give you another warning because I know people get the ump I don't want to wreck it for anybody but hey I'll tell you who went Peter went Peter with a dodgy loaf has gone man that's okay I know we're early in we're early days you know I don't feel too emotionally attached to anyone at this point which is sad because Peter did really well I made a coconut cake to begin with and he did well but the loaf of bread was a little bit dodgy and I believe the mini rolls were a bit dodgy as well but see you later Peter this is a shame um, and Starbaker Stephen Stephen with the BLT Stephen with the apple cake bonfire and Stephen with the handshake in the first round. Congratulations! I've got my eyes peeled on a couple of people. Uh, I have got my eyes peeled on Stephen, Kate the blacksmith, and Sophie from Surrey, because uh, because they all got some moves. They all got moves. You can tell. But hey, anything can happen in this competition. We see people go out for one bad round which is a shame, but I'm really excited about next week. Uh, thanks for watching this. There will be more. If you want to watch the episodes on the last Bake Off uh, last year, don't bother, because they're not very good. Seriously. <laughs> um, and that's it. 
So hey, I'm Bake With Jack. I'm here at bakewithjack.co.uk. If you want to learn anything about bread, come and tap me up. Uh, watch my other videos. I did bread tips uh, every week for a long time. I'm on a break at the minute, but they're coming back. Um, so if you want to know stuff about bread, click on my stuff. That's what I do. And I'll see you next week for the Bake Off Series 7? No, 8? Series 8, Episode 2. Peace.